My dear Darwin, do you think our young friend here, equipped with a multiplicity of talents, might be enough to ensure Mr. Hammond safe passage? Who's Hammond when he's at home, then? A mutual friend of ours. He arrives in London today. From South Africa, no less. Mr. Hammond is possessed of both tremendous wealth and charming innocence. Which makes him rather attractive prey for some of our great city's less savory inhabitants. We fear he'll need a more robust escort than two old men might provide. I'm not a coachman, you know. We have already told him to expect you. His train should have arrived ten minutes ago. Well then, I suppose a friend of yours is a friend of mine. Splendid! Off you go. Mr. John Hammond? That is correct. Jacob Fry, Mr. Dickens sent me to meet you. Oh, good old Dickens. How very kind of him. Lead on, then. Mr. Fry, glad you're still with us. London. Can't say I've missed the weather. My father passed away recently, and I have come home to settle his affairs. Also, I am to be married. You don't sound too keen on the idea. I have never even met my future bride, Bella Wilton. It was all arranged for me. She may be a good woman, or she may not. I stand to inherit a vast sum. Can I be certain that the lady is not simply in it for the money? For mine. Oh, I show you your handy to have around. I fear my wealth attracts too much attention. That did give me an idea. Perhaps I could test my bride's sincerity. I've half a mind to take you home and feed you to me dogs. I am now officially dead oh and have thus God. shed my fortune. I shall meet Bella Wilton as a nobody. We shall see if she'll have me now. Come, we must dispose of my body. Find us a carriage to take us to the river. Has just been murdered. Another day, another dead body. Good work. How exciting. This is like something. Oh, steady on.
meet my fiance. I can't wait to see her response. That's a girl. I feel quite liberated, as if a great weight has been lifted from my shoulders. After this, just to be sure, would you take me to my fiancé's house? I shall deliver the sad news myself. Easy does it. Seems a bit risky to me. It's gonna be a crash! <laughs> she has never set eyes on me. Besides, I need to ascertain whether I like her as well. And I want to see how she Let's reacts go. to the news of my death. Come on, Easy. hurry up! This is taking far too long. There goes the best driver You're ever. going the wrong way, I'm sure of it. Some more trouble from the rabble, I expect. Miss Wilson? Yes? My name is John Rokesmith. I'm afraid I have some terrible news for you. Oh? Your fiancé, John Hammond, was found dead in the River Thames this morning. Oh, how awful! Poor Mr. Hammond. I am at a loss at what to say to you, sir. You must forgive me. She is delightful. Why, I do believe I love her. <laughs> Certainly an unusual first meeting to talk about in your wedding speech. That's enough of your lips! 